Hey guys, uh, just trying to figure out this PKE push start system that I'm going to try and put in the bus. Uh, I just kind of have it wired up to my uh, little test power supply there, old computer power supply with a little board. Uh, it's giving 12 volts into the system right now. Uh, so currently it's disabled. Technically when I walk up with the key it'll unlock. Uh, since the key's already in range I have to do the manual unlock. So. It'll unlock, activates the button, press the button once, on accessory power, once more, that's on one and two, and then holding it should technically start it, but I don't think it actually works the way it is set up right now, let's see. Yeah, it kind of does a light show. So I think that's because uh, I don't have the brake pedal wire plugged in or anything like that. So, um, But from what I gathered, it looks like both accessory and onto um, cut power. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Yeah, it looks like... So this is this light down here. That is the start light. That's on one, which is supposed to stay on during start. It's on two, which is supposed to turn off during start. And that's accessory. So I was trying to figure out if I wire things up to accessory, if they'll also cut at startup. And it looks like they will. So it uh, looks like on one is the only system that remains online the whole time. It's that's constant power, obviously. So. Just kind of trying to figure out things electrically so one more time we'll do accessory on so that's on one and two automatically and then technically holding this would do the start but i think it's easier to show when i just uh hold it from the start but we'll see yeah so that's not quite the functionality it'll do so here we'll show you so this should be the functionality from nothing to on so accessory, on one and two, they turn off. On one stays on with the starter going. Yeah, so sounds like uh, sounds like it'll work. We'll see. Just kind of another random fun purchase that I got a long time ago for the van. I think I got it a year and a half ago now. So uh, this is the instructions. It's the six, uh, sorry, Q six C keyless entry and button system. I don't know if AliExpress for, I think, 50 bucks, maybe. Um, yeah, so it seems to be uh, functioning. Uh, batteries in the remote still work, so that's good. It came with two remotes. Um, I'm just waiting right now on a new uh, fuse panel from AliExpress also. Uh, then I'm going to try and wire everything up. So I've kind of ended up with a lot more relays than I first expected, so I think I have uh, 16 relays on this board that's coming in and uh, 24 fuse spots but uh, I'm not going to use all the fuse spots but anyhow just trying to figure out how to wire it all up so that I have the right setup with power um, and yeah this was a little demo to see uh, see if things will work and I think uh, technically if I walked away with the keys it would turn off but uh, I don't want to do that right now so we'll just hit the lock button that turns off the light Think was it? Yeah, there's like some way to do the. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. So technically, I just remote started it, so that's cool. Oh, but yeah, it's not getting the signal that the starter's on, so it keeps trying to start it. So that's it trying to start. When that one clicks on, that's the starter trying to start. Oh. And it just gave up. So that's kind of cool. Let's try that again. It's kind of fun. So hold the lock button. So accessory on one and two. Then it's trying to start. Cool. I don't know if I'm going to use the remote start, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. Um, got a... Uh, I'm just messing around with buttons now.
Seems like it thinks it's on still, so we will turn that off. Yeah, I don't know if I'll use the remote start. I've got a, you know, a standard bus, so it's a four-speed. Um, not sure I'm going to trust the e-brake uh, on its own, <laughs> so I usually leave it in gear. So I'll see. I'll play it by ear, though. Uh, it's a possibility. I live in a flat area now, so that's nice. So um, yeah. Anyways, it's a while until I got to worry about that. But uh, hopefully I'll do some more updates in the next little while. Um, anyways, this was a uh, quick overview of the uh, push start system, remote start. So um, if you want to break down a wire in, there it is. So red's 12 volt, black's ground. Brown is on too, so that's the one that cuts during ignition. Blue is the ACC, which also cuts during ignition. Uh, yellow's the start, so that flashes the, uh, the starter power. And white is on one, so that's the one that stays on during the startup. So, otherwise, it's just all kind of you know random information on this. Uh, well, yeah. So I do have to wire up this uh, fuse or sorry relay, um, which is essentially a load reduction relay, as Volkswagen calls it. So, um, it's to enable uh, proper cutting of power and resupply from the on to circuit. So this is a super nasty little setup, but um, yeah, I'll have it all wired up and clean once I get it in the van. So thank you very much, and one last time. Hey. Cool. Thanks, guys.